busy couple of days. Our sports director, Brenna Green, is joining us now as Gonzaga fans pretty happy with some recent developments. Yeah, uh, so if you count the three guys electing to withdraw from the NBA mm -hmm. draft, and in case you miss it, Gonzaga just got another transfer oh. guard to commit an hour ago in Malachi Smith. That means four commitments nice. for the Zags over the last 72 hours. Let's dive into Malachi and then the roster as a whole. The 6'4", 205-pound Chattanooga transfer guard averaged 19.9 points per game last season while shooting 40.7% from three and 82.7% from the free throw line. He also averaged 6.7 rebounds, three assists, and 1.7 steals per game. He was one of, if not the top transfer left in the portal. But here's the most interesting thing to me. He explicitly mentions in a story he did with ESPN's Jonathan Giovanni that he's expecting to play point guard for this team. That is interesting because the vast majority of people I've talked to around college basketball have viewed Smith as a two guard. As one of the top remaining transfers, I doubt Malachi would transfer somewhere where he wasn't starting. This whole offseason, we've assumed that Nolan Hickman would be starting at the point. That might not be the case now. Hickman did have his ups and downs last year. In January, he had a few double-digit performances. However, in Gonzaga's final eight games, he scored a grand total of six points. Now let's get into the rest of the roster. That leads us to the off-ball guards. The starters there are easy as Bolton and Strother return, and GU does not lack in terms of backups. We already mentioned Harris, who sat out all last season with an injury. You also add in Hunter Salas, who, like Hickman, had his ups and downs last year uh, off the bench. And a few, uh, a few of company have plenty of options here. This is a guard stable that almost any T1 coach is jealous of right now and I'm really fascinated to see how these minutes all play out. There's six guards on this roster now when you count Malachi and uh, of course you add Hickman in there as well. They can't all get the minutes that they want. That is just the reality and then to the bigs drew timmy and transfer efton reed are my obvious starters in that situation reed is going to play a brandon clark enforcer type of role for this team which was something they missed last year i, I don't really need to expound on timmy i feel like anton watson will play the same role off the bench that he did last season as well that leaves ben greg and caden perry uh, as as well as freshman newcomer Braden Huff. I don't see Huff getting a ton of minutes. Uh, so if we're going to go with one guy out of those three, seeing some meaningful playing time next year, I'm going to go with Perry, provided his back surgery that he had this offseason uh, indeed went well. He's the only natural five man out of that group, and he showed a lot of flashes of brilliance last year before his injury. So uh, what I wrote for the last part of this, mm -hmm. well, I talked about Malachi Smith okay. and uh, – if he was going to commit or not. Yeah, but now we know. Now we know. Okay. Uh, there is one other guy that Gonzaga is waiting on right now. Mm -hmm. uh, that one other guy is Baba Miller from Spain. He just finished up his recruiting trip here. Now, there are some people out there wondering about the scholarship count. All I'm going to say right now is that I think they're going to be fine. I, okay. I can't, I can't say some things on television currently. Oh. But that's, that's all I'm going to say. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah, um, but this team is... Uh, it, it hasn't been boring. Apparently, no. Gonzaga this year is like, remain, remain quiet, remain quiet. Everything happened at All once. At once. <laughs> and, and that's exactly what's happened. I mean, and that also happened a few weeks ago when they got two commits yeah. on the same Sunday. So uh, it's been a really interesting offseason, and I'm really interested to see how minutes-wise this all breaks down for them as well. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to delve into this one, that when I get a chance to mm -hmm. breathe. Mm -hmm. By the way, sorry, Malachi Smith. I'm talking to him in literally a minute and a half. Oh, all right. So we're going to have more with him later. Well, we've got to let you go, but yeah. I'm, I'm just, as you said yesterday, this is an indication of how good and mm -hmm. how much our programs are thriving. So this is all good development. This, this is good. This, this Gonzaga team is absolutely loaded. That's exciting. Absolutely all right. loaded. Brenna, thanks very much. Yeah.